Roxy's thinking about becoming Instagram famous. What's your Instagram, sissy? <laughs> I'm not telling. Oh, it's top secret. No, it's not. I just feel awkward. This part is old lawn getting resurrected. Oh, look, it's already grown in. I had a dead spot there where there was a pile of leaves and sticks and stuff, so Rio chunked out some sod and put it there. This is sod right here. It was the leftovers from the football field across the street. Rio's the grass man. This has been his main project lately, and he's doing a good job with it here. Rio got his grass all watered and we got a little extra thing here one of our neighbors caught a stray cow of ours and made a great move instead of taking them taking the cow to, her, to his house to tear up their pens they put them here at the local rodeo arena where there's some good prefer panels so she looks like a ornery one This is one of the ones that was recently caught from Area 51 with four-wheeler and dogs. Brought to the house for a little while. Oh, I know. Yep. Had that calf had that calf in the feedlot during all that cold wet weather, I think. So that's why she, she was lost. She was looking for Area 51 and came the wrong direction. Okay, let's get this all set right so we only have to do it once. She probably is. So the reason we've got Ridge, Rob, and Rio and I here is that Mom and Riley and the middle boys are all out in Georgia at the National Finals for Junior High Rodeo. So we're spending a week without Mama. And we're struggling, but we're getting some stuff done. Okay, Ridge, go actually over here in the arena. Well, cow went. Wish somebody was there to get a gate. Get, 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 get. Stay near the gate, and if she goes through, slam it on her. Gotcha. One step closer. There, 
that's the move. All right. Captured her, Ridgey. That wild old alien cow is captured. Means we caught her. Yeah, that's exactly the deal with that cow. She was lost when she got turned loose at the house. She was on the wrong side of the mountain. <coughs> Take her over to the mountain. Maybe she'll head the other way. Okay. Load up, that job's done. Thanks to our neighbor, Brandon, for catching our cow. Hopefully she didn't cause too much trouble and good job making the right move and putting her over here with these good panels. Okay, get in, let's go. Well, we pulled up here to turn this stray cow loose back on our ranch. And as we pulled up to this corral, there was a handful of little calves that were in the corral here. We went ahead and slammed the gate on them. There's two little bull calves. We want to get castrated while we've got the chance, but we've just got one play rope and no horses. Everybody, we got a little project here we got to do. Uh, there was a bad, bad windstorm yesterday, and one edge of the barn roof was just about to get ripped off. So we got to get up there and fix it. Uh, I actually did this on the other side of the barn once. A uh, rope hog lifted me up there, but I didn't have any kind of a decent harness. He took a truck strap and kind of weaved some harness thing and put it on me, and it was really. Anyways, it really hurt me. So I uh, got on Amazon and bought the cheapest Strap. That's probably not safety harness, climbing harness, whatever that thing is. Anyways, it's bright orange. It was the cheapest one on Amazon. So we're going to give that thing a try. And don't remember the old boom truck, the one where you have to fix the pull rope on the air compressor, gas up the air compressor, load up the air compressor, bring the air compressor over, air up the air tanks, release the brakes, hook up a strap, get a machine, pull the boom truck, start the boom truck, and then you can lift something. Well, there's been some improvement on Anchor Brand Ranch. Check this out. The new procedure, turn the key, 
Press the button. about 24 volt stuff. All of your connections have to be super tight and right. If they're a little bit loose, fry stuff, burn your terminals off. 24 four volt system on this truck. I was just explaining to Rio that those connections gotta be real tight on a 24 volt. You can't get away with those sloppy stuff or it'll burn up your terminal end. I think that thing works. Yeah. Midgey doesn't believe that this flying suit that I got in the mail is going to work.
Now I understand this is a very unprofessional way of fixing a metal roof, but uh, in an emergency I did this to the other side of the barn uh, about a year ago and I've been keeping a close eye on it and it actually has worked amazingly well to hold that edge down. There's some holes along the edge of the metal right there and I'm able to pull it down nice and tight and uh, wire it to the I-beam there and as ugly as it is, it's been very effective. And I'm telling you, yesterday this roof was about to come off, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, right or wrong.
I could fly in my flying suit, huh? No, we would have to drop you. No, I was really flying. How you want? That was so fake flying. All right, put it, put it all down and away and push it. Fake flying. That was real flying. Let's put you up there. Uh, I don't think I was thinking. That, that, that plan worked perfectly. Now that metal's not going to be flopping when the wind blows next time. <laughs> <laughs>